What's up, Aegis community? My name is Ken, your PR. I want to explain to you guys more about the Aegis white paper. And this these are going to be little snippets of content which kind of briefly explain what Aegis is about. But for today, I'm going to do episode one of what is Aegis. And the first thing I want to do is the white paper and do, just to summarize it for you guys. And uh, just to basically go over it with you guys for those of you who are too lazy to read the white paper. But here we go. So now we're in the introduction. And basically what Aegis is, is that it is a Bitcoin based cryptocurrency with a focus on privacy, decentralization, data storage, distribution, and security. Now, the whole vision of Aegis is to establish itself to be a next generation crypto with an improved governance system, and that's where the decentralization comes in. Basically, AEG strives to be a decentralized currency that can be transferred all around the world super fast with zero fees. And of course, Aegis's long-term goal is to be a decentralized data storage ecosystem for businesses to integrate. And that's where the scalability of Aegis will come in for businesses to actually use Aegis as a solution for their payments. Now, as you scroll down here on the white paper, it shows Aegis features such as proof of stake, which is a 560% annual return, close to zero transaction fees, which is perfect for micro transactions, which businesses do all the time. It is based on the cryptocurrency project Pivx, which Pivx is also based from Dash. They also have a highly active development team, which can answer your questions pretty much most of the time, and they're constantly working on the project and for their long-term goal they will integrate IPFS data storage and distribution. If you guys don't know what IPFS is, check out our video, Aegis introduces IPFS. This will be linked in the description. It basically explains what IPFS is more in depth. Now, the technology features that AEG is really trying to emphasize is Masternode, POS 3.0, and Swift transactions. POS 3.0 is basically proof of stake. It is the latest version. And AEG is essentially the first storage crypto to use this. And Swift TX, if you guys already don't know this, is near instant transactions confirmed within a few seconds of clicking send. In the Aegis white paper, it also explains more about masternodes. Owning a masternode means that you are providing extra services to the network itself, such as privacy, instant transactions, and budgeting systems. It's basically a way for you to kind of help fund the development of Aegis. In return, you will receive rewards every day. And in the long term, obviously, it adds up. And as for the masternode, you need about 5,000 AEG coins as collateral. So that means you put in 5,000 coins and basically that's it, right? You, you've given it to the system and then eventually in the long term, you will get rewarded back your 5,000 AEG. And assuming that the cryptocurrency market does well in the future, those AEG masternode payouts will be very worth it in the future. And here in the masternode section of AEG, as a masternode owner, you are allowed to vote on budget and development proposals. So you actually have a say in the project itself. Now, as for the masternode rewards, there is a fixed reward balance system and it automatically adjusts its block reward size between masternodes and staking nodes that you get from proof of stake. That means that each block reward is split between the masternode owners and the POS owners in a 50-50 ratio. So 50% masternode owners and 50% stake owners. And pretty soon, they will implement a seesaw reward balance system and basically this means that if there are more masternode counts than proof of stake counts then the proof of stake rewards will be increased and vice versa so if there are more proof of stakers than masternodes then masternodes will be rewarded more and right here in the reward system explains more of how the payout works so like i said 50 50 and later on it's going to be a seesaw so it could be 70 30 it could be you know 50 50 again it could be 60 40 and they also have a section of how ipfs works which like i said i will direct you back to this video of Aegis introducing ipfs and basically ipfs removes duplicates across the network and tracks version history of every file as you scroll down in the white paper it shows technical specifications of Aegis, and further down it shows the future innovations that Aegis will implement later on so one of them will be full shield privacy protocol integration and this means that both senders and receivers can protect their ip address wallet passwords and it will provide additional security features Aegis is also implementing universal community governance which this is where the decentralization will come in Aegis will come out with mobile wallet applications, which they will create 
obviously mobile wallets for Android and iPhone users for the purpose of expanding the range of usability. Aegis will also come out with an encrypted messaging system in the wallet. So basically there will be an implementation for secured messaging for public and private groups. And further down the line, they will implement their data storage, data distribution, and more security and privacy features. Now for the data storage, this is where the IPFS integration will come in hand. So in that sense, it will provide deduplication, high performance, and organization in a business ecosystem. And in data distribution, this will also be useful to businesses because the whole purpose of this is to lower the cost of bandwidth. And a lot of businesses spend a lot of money on just bandwidth alone. So by lowering that, obviously it will improve the efficiency of business expenses. And as you scroll towards the end, it will feature Aegis ecosystem, which like I said before, master nodes, privacy, anonymity, solid development team, and more down the line, it will explain the roadmap. And they are basically placing an importance of the POS 3.0, master nodes, and the peer-to-peer -peer protocols. And as you scroll in the conclusion, it has a max supply of 21 million, 25% will be reserved for the operational and development of Aegis project itself. And so guys, that is about it for the What is Aegis series. I explained the white paper. I summarized it for you guys who are too lazy to read all of that. Just to give more clarification and explanation about what Aegis is for those of you who are curious but do not have the time to read the white paper. So that is about it, guys. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell button next to the subscribe button so that every time an Aegis video comes out, you will be notified right away. Thank you for watching watching Aegis community and anyone who is curious about Aegis. Let us know what type of content that we should put out in the Aegis YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and have a great day.